Hello students. In today's lecture, we will see a problem based on regular falsi method under numerical methods. The problem is compute the real root of x log x to the base 10 minus 1.2 equal to 0 by the method of false position. Carry out three iterations. So here the instruction you have to read carefully. So here they have said three iteration means we need to find x1, x2 and x3. Then we have to stop. So we will not go for the accuracy level. Just what uh, they have said three iteration means x1, x2, x3 we need to find. Let's see the solution. The given equation we have to write let f of x is equal to x log x to the base 10 x log x to the base 10 minus 1.2 so this equation will prepare in the calculator and we will see what is the value of a and b with the condition that one result value supposed to be positive and uh, one value supposed to be negative we will see that so equation will prepare go for more option then press seventh one so it will show on the calculator screen as f of x then put uh, press x that is alpha x then we have log x to the base 10 if it is if they are showing any base that is base it is showing 10 then you have to use the option log in the calculator if no base it is given then we have to use here lan option in the calculator so right now they have given log so therefore use directly log so it is understood that base 10 is there so alpha x close the bracket minus 1.2 then e press equal to sign so it will ask starting value starting value i will start with the zero end value i will imagine as five this is trial and error method if this uh, starting and end value is not executing we need to check another values fine so step size will be one so you check the result here so what answer it is coming so for x is equal to 0 it is showing error always a log of uh, 0 is 0 uh, 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 so it will come uh, as 0 here so that's why you just neglect so you start with 1 here so 1 so if you put x is equal to 1 it is showing minus 1.2 x is equal to what here 2 if you put it is coming again minus value so like that you come down so now you just observe here so for 2 it is coming for 2 it is coming negative value and for 3 it is coming positive so we will pick the value as f of 2 is negative value and f of 3 is positive value so what is the positive and negative value we will see now here so f of 2 answer is minus 0 0.5979 which is negative and f of 3 we got that is positive value that is 0 0.2314 i have taken a round up here so this is positive and one is negative this is positive value so therefore immediately we can judge it what here the roots the root lies in 2 and 3 means our answer of this question is lying between two point something okay that one we have to remember so once we get again we will recheck to reduce the number of iteration so that number of iteration will reduce it by what here again uh, again 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 we will go back and use the calculator so just press equal uh, uh, ac button and go for equal to sign so starting value you give as a two end value means boundary so starting boundary and end boundary what we have uh, got it now we'll use that one so starting we have taken two end is three and uh, step size is you apply 0 0.1 and press equal to sign and see again positive and negative value for two it is coming negative value for 2.1 negative value 2.2 negative value come down with the center cursor uh, button here okay 
So again uh, for 2.3 it is negative, 2.4 it is negative, 2.5 it is negative value, 2.6 negative value, 2.7 negative value, okay, 2.8 positive. So 2.7 negative, 2.8 positive. So we'll pick this 2.7 and 2.8 is the nearest root. So we'll get the root under this. So therefore again f of 2.7 we got negative value which is nothing but minus 0.0. .0 3 5 3 2 which is negative value and f of 2.8 will be positive so the result is 0 0.0 5 0 4 which is positive so therefore our fresh roots are therefore the fresh roots are The fresh root lies in instead of 2 comma 3 we will take what here 2.7 comma 2.8 means our answer is in between 2.7 and 2.8 means you can imagine our answer will be 2.7 something will get here so let's see the first iteration first iteration so first iteration the formula as usual formula x1 is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a the formula so we'll collect the value of a so here so the value of a is 2.7 that is first 2.7 value of b is 2.8 then value of f of a that is f of uh, that is f of 2.7 it is what we got is minus 0 0.03532 and value of f of b that is 2.8 it is 0 0.0504 so once we get we need to apply this in the formula so therefore you can apply or uh, will use the calculator for this we'll use the calculator to prepare a formula so formula means uh, in place of f of b we have to write uh, this formula and in place of f of a we have to write this formula remaining will be as it is so we'll write it here so it is fraction button then alpha a that is a into f of b so a into bracket f of b so this equation we write in terms of uh, b here so alpha b into log of alpha b minus 1.2 okay so 1.2 close the bracket minus b into f of a so b means alpha b bracket again the same formula so what formula we have here so the sa this same formula we have to write in terms of a that is alpha a into log of alpha a close the bracket minus 1.2 fine so close the bracket come down denominator uh, uh, f of b minus f of a f of b means bracket alpha b log of alpha b minus 1.2 close the bracket minus f of a that is alpha a into log of alpha a minus 1.2 close the bracket and go for calc option so once you go calc option so it will ask the value of a so what uh, a value we have taken here that value we have to apply so the a value is 2.7 apply here a value is 2.7 equal to and b value is 2.8 b value is 2.8 equal to sign and see that the answer is 2.7404 so i will round up up to four decimal place so therefore so x1 value is x1 value is 
2.7404 so once we got x1 we have to go for x2 x3 and x4 so to get uh, x2 first this what value we got this value we need to apply in what here the above first f of x equation so we'll see that so what result will get if we get the result will be if it is positive we have to update in place of 2.7 we have to write 2.7404 if we got negative result because f of t is uh, here 2.7 is negative 2.8 is positive so if we got negative result in place of 2.7 we have to write this answer let's see what is the value here in the form of second iteration so second iteration second iteration in the second iteration f of 2.7404 we need to find that is 2.7404 into log of 2.7404 of base 10 minus 1.2 so if you calculate we will get the result as Okay, if you apply x value here, so this is x log x to the base 10 it is understood minus 1.2, go for calc option, if you apply the value of x is 2.7040, then you will find the answer minus 2.146, so on into 10 raised to minus 4, I will note down this. So it will be in terms of uh, decimal level right it is 10 raised to minus 4 that's why it will become minus 0. Point, it will become 0, 0, 0 into 2146 okay this answer so just see that it is negative value and negative it is coming because of what here 2.7404 so in the above root so here so 2.7 is negative 2.8 is positive this here negative and positive so therefore we got negative answer so therefore in place of 2.7 we need to write 2.7404 so therefore the root lies in 2.7404 comma 2.8 therefore the value of a is 2.7404 value of b is 2.8 value of a that is value of 2.7404 what we got just now it is minus 0 0.0002146 and value of b it is from the previous only we have to carry it is nothing but uh, 0 0.05 04 so but uh, we are not using f of a and f of b value so already uh, just see that on the screen it is available so if you are not applied a on button so it is available so you just press uh, center cursor but up, up button so you will get back that equation so you can find uh, you will apply so go for calc option a value is 2.7 b value 2.8 we need to apply so just i'll write x2 formula so x2 is equal to x2 is a f of b minus b f of a divided by divided by f of b minus f of a so i am not substituting the value we can go directly here by referring to these values so therefore x2 will be i am applying in the calculator so a value is 2.7404 2.7404 equal to b value is 2.8 and see that the answer is 2.7406 we got so 2.2.7406 we got the answer so this is the x2 value so as per the requirement we need to go for three iterations this is second iteration now we'll apply this in the above equation the given equation that is third iteration is or third approximation the so third iteration so that is f of 
2.7406 that is we need to apply 2.7406 into log of 2.7406 to the base 10 minus 1.2 so in this already it is available in the calculator so you use again center bus cursor button so it is available already it is typed x log x minus 1.2 go for calc option x value you apply 2.7406 2.7406 and equal to sign you will get the value of uh, again uh, f of uh, uh, f of the function value will be again coming negative so that negative value is minus uh, 4.02023 so on into 10 raised to minus 5 I will rearrange and write so it will be minus 0. Point, 10 raised to minus 5 means 0. 0.12345 that is 40203 so on so this negative value so therefore the root the root lies in the root lies in again negative so therefore in place of uh, 2.7404 the previous root will update it as 2.7406,2.8 so this is the fresh value of a fresh value of b write it here so a value is 2.7406 b value is 2.8 and f of a value will be uh, the answer of 2.7406 it is minus 0 0.0000 uh, four zeros uh, 40203 and f of b value is it is a previous value that is 0 0.0504 so the formula for x3 as it is that is x3 is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a so once we get these all uh, things so we need to go for what here uh, applying the value of a and b in the calculator so again so that's why till com problem completes don't press on button so you again use a cursor center cursor button so you'll get back the formula what you have entered so just apply calc option so it will ask the value of a the a value is 2.7406 2.7406 and b value is 2.8 as per the data what we have collected it is 2.8 then check the answer so it will be 2.7406 only for decimal place so x3 value is x3 value is 2.7406 and you can find here that uh, x2 value what we got and this is x2 value and x3 value both are same we have to stop it as well as as per the instruction they have said we need to work out for three decimal uh, three iterations so we'll stop it here this is the third iteration so thus the conclusion is thus thus the required thus the required approximate the required approximate root correct to I will take four decimal I have taken four decimal places four decimals is 2.7406 so this is a required solution of the given equation x log x to the base 10 minus 1.2 so in this way we need to apply a regular falsy method